the top five Google certificates. That is what we're going to be going over in this video. We're going to be going over certs that you can get at Google using Coursera.com. So if you're not familiar with Google certificates, basically Google found that there were certain jobs where they simply could not get them filled. They could not find people who had the skill sets to fill those positions. So after having to deal with this for a long period of time, Google finally got tired and they decided to create their own certificate program in order to try to train people in the skills that they needed. Now, I made an entire video talking about whether Google certificates are worth it or not. I went over the pros, the cons, and went into a lot of nuance in that video. I'm not going to go into the same amount of nuance in this one. I'm simply going to tell you which Google certifications are good and what I think of them. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes in this video. And also subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below and share this with any friends who need to see it. And let's jump right into the video with number five on the list, which is the Google Project Management Certificate. Now, Google certifications and certificates are so good that even BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, are recommending them on their website. This is a government website that recommends different certificates and certifications for certain careers. And project management is an incredibly valuable skill. You're basically making sure that a project gets done on time, it meets the goals that were set at the beginning, and it gets done within budget. Now, the Google Project Management Certificate claims on the website that you can start your path to a career in project management. In this program, you'll learn in-demand skills that will have you job ready in less than six months, no degree or experience required. Now, I'm going to say right now that that is a very, very bold claim by Google. And although I will say that I am a huge fan of the Google certificates, I think a lot of people try to compare them to college degrees, and there absolutely is no comparison. That is like trying to compare an apple to an orange. They are not the same thing at all. A better comparison comparison still wouldn't be perfect would be comparing a bunch of different certifications in one career path to a college degree. And even then, it still would not be a perfect comparison. It would still be apples to oranges. But with that being said, this Google Project Management Certificate is 100% online. It can be done all remotely. It is beginner level, and they say that it takes approximately six months to complete. Now, in my experience, you can probably complete this in more like one to two months at most. Now, Google also claims that there is 479,000 job openings for project managers in the United States, and the median entry-level salary is $73,000 a year. And they also claim that 75% of Google Career Certificate graduates in the United States report an improvement in their career trajectory within six months of certificate completion. Now that is a little bit vague. I wish they'd be a little more specific and talk about you know each individual certificate. But if you look up the reviews from other sources on the internet, they typically are very good. And if you look up the reviews on Coursera itself, you're also going to see that you know the first class has a 4.9 rating, second class has a 4.8 rating. Third one, 4.8, fourth, 4.8, fifth, 4.8, and sixth, 4.8. So those are very, very good ratings. And another thing I want to note here is the first class has 35,000 ratings, whereas the sixth class only has 2,500. So a lot of people take the first class, they like it a lot, but they don't make it to the sixth one. They basically give up before they get to the end. And that's actually totally fine, and that's where I see a ton of value in certificates. It's great that you see people giving up because you basically get to sample what you're going to be doing in that career by taking the certificate. And if you don't like it, you don't want to go into the career, that's great. You didn't waste four years of your life getting a college degree. You wasted maybe a couple weeks taking the first class in a series of classes. And you're also able to do this at a very discounted price because Coursera is super cheap. And by the way, I will have links to the Coursera classes down in the description as well as the pinned comment if you want to use them. It is an affiliate link. I get a very small cut from it, but I'm going to be honest, I don't make all that much from Coursera. I just think they have a phenomenal product. So if you want to use my affiliate link, you can. If you don't want to use my affiliate link, just type it in on Google. It's very easy to find. Number four on the list is going to be the Google UX Designer Certificate. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, I talk a lot about UX and UI design, and that typically is a pretty good choice, especially if you're somebody who's an artistic type person and you want to get paid to do a job that includes art. Now, UX is more of the analytical side of UX UI, but a lot of the time you get your foot in the door by doing the analytical side, and then later on down the line, you can kind of pivot more into the UI side of things where you're using more of your art skills. Now, this is another beginner level certificate. They say it takes about six months to complete, and they claim that you are gonna be ready to get a job in UX design after taking this certificate. 
Again, that I am a little bit skeptical of. However, I do think it will help you to get a job. And I also think it's going to take a lot less than six months for you to finish this. Now, they say that there are currently 99,000 jobs available in the US for UX design. And by the way, I should mention that this is all web design and UX design stands for user experience. UI design stands for user interface. Now, there are seven different courses you can take and they all have a 4.8 star rating. So it's very good. And another really cool thing Thing about this and sometimes colleges will actually accept these certificates as credit so if you take this certificate first you finish it you complete it you can actually transfer in many credits in this case I believe they you can actually transfer up to 10 college credits into your university the next one on the list is going to be the Google associate Android developer course so this is going to be actually an associate course with Android and if you click on the link it'll take you to developer.android.com and basically it teaches you the language Kotlin which you can use to program Android and this is how you would create Android apps that you would see on your phone. Now you'd learn all the education on the website and then you would go back to google.com and you would apply to take an exam at the end. And then you would earn your certification. It's a little bit different than certificate, but they're basically the same thing because of the fact that you have to take an exam at the end. And this would teach you how to start helping to develop apps on the Android store, which is another skill set that a lot of people don't have. Number two on the list is going to be the Google Data Analytics Certificate. Now this is another one that takes approximately six months to get. They say that it's entry level, probably takes a lot less than six months, and it's all designed to help you become a data analyst. Now, again, do I think this is better than getting a degree or going to a boot camp? No, it's an apples to oranges comparison. But with that being said, this is a phenomenal first step to kind of dip your toe into data analytics and see if you like it. And from all my friends that I've asked that are data analysts, they all say that it's really good. It tends to have a really good reputation. And according to Google, there are 380,000 job openings with 74,000 being the medium an entry level salary. And this course has an average overall rating of 4.8 stars. Now in my experience, and I have helped a lot of different people get a data analytics job, this is a job that does take a little bit extra studying than some of the others that I've mentioned on this channel. It is kind of a big brain job. It's extremely analytical. You really have to know your stuff. You also have to learn um, some stuff with Python, SQL, or whatever language you choose. You also have to be incredibly good with Excel. And one thing I did here that's a little bit controversial is instead of teaching Python, they actually teach R. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people think that you should start learning data analytics by starting with Python. But Google's pretty smart, and they're probably doing that for a very specific reason. So yeah, I've heard really good things about the Google Data Analytics course. At the very least, it's a great way for you to you know dip your toe into data analytics and see if it's something that you might like to do as a professional. Next one on the list, number one, this is the one that I've heard the most good things about, and that is going to be the Google IT Support Certificate. It has a 4.8 star rating overall, 128,000 people have rated it. It's beginner level, flexible, you can do it all online. They say it lasts six months, but let's be realistic, you can probably get it done in a month easily. And they claim there are 400,000 IT jobs at the entry level that pay 52,000 median per year. Now this is definitely one where you probably wouldn't want to just get this certificate, uh, especially in IT, it's extremely certificate heavy. So there's other certs that you'd wanna get as well, something like CompTIA A+, for instance. But with that being said, this is a phenomenal way for you to dip your toe into IT, see if you like it in a very cheap, flexible way that if you don't like it, you can very easily back out and you didn't risk all that much. And in my opinion, I've looked over all different types of education and especially what I'm super passionate about is alternative education. And this is the real value proposition of certificates and certifications. In my opinion, certificates and certifications are great for two different types of people. One, people who want to dip their toe into entry level careers and see if it's something that they want to do. And then after they've seen that, they've got a good base and then they can take the next step. And two, people who are already in careers, but they want to add on other skill sets so that they can make either a vertical or a horizontal shift. This is the true value proposition of certificates and certifications, in my opinion. And that is exactly what these Google certificates offer. So the only way you're going to be disappointed by these, in my opinion, is if you think that they are a replacement for an online course that's comprehensive, a boot camp, or a college degree. They are not. But if you have a good idea in your head of the value that these certificates offer, you're not going to be disappointed by them because they do offer quite a bit of value. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other video right here where I talk about other online certificates that I think are really good. Some of them are Google and some of them are outside of Google. And also gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.